Welcome to the fourth video on deep learning for LiDAR data. So in the first video we showed how to download LiDAR data. Second video showed how to view the LiDAR data and break it up into smaller size images of size 640 by 640. Um, so take the LiDAR data from a 3D point cloud and convert it to what we call a raster file or equivalently an image that we can do um, labeling and now deep learning on. So in the third video, we showed how to label the data. And here in the fourth video, we're going to show how to do some deep learning on that data. So the, um, the download, what we did, the we downloaded the data. And let me, let's take a look at that structure of that download. So let's, let's see what's in that structure. So zip, zip. So we take a look at that. There is a, a readme file, which has a little bit of information. Of course, the RoboFlow, which has information about um, the different augmentation steps and things that were um, done, and the statement that it's in YOLO 8 format. So this data dot YAML, this YAML file is going to be important. And then we have our training and validation folders. And each of those has subfolders, one folder that has the images in it. And then the other folder is a set of text files that have the information for where the um, those regions are that we labeled. So we take that and I'm running this on in a um, uh, in a container and we can find where I put these so well okay so let's run our first block so of course you may need of course as usual to um, pip install some things so this ultralytics import yolo you'll need to uh, load that and i have a few custom tools my yolo lidar tools and things that are going to help me display and so those are in in here that's going to help me display some of the things so first i'll run my imports now i want to check that i have a GPU and so I do have a GPU and it's running and so that's good. This we don't need. And then in this block, this is what I need to pick my file names to tell my uh, YOLO model where to find the data. And so this trial name is when YOLO runs, it outputs all the results into a run. So it's in this runs folder. And then we go under the trial name, which is going to be train, which is here. And so runs detect because we're doing a detection process and then training. And then here's the output. Um, and if we want the model, the best model is going to be right here, best.pt. So we give this trial name, which tells us, tells you all where to save everything. The F name for the YAML file, it's separate from where those are going to be saved. So it's in this, which is our, our data, and then it's data.yaml. So let's go find that. That's in the data.yaml. Now you'll notice that I put the, I split up the, the files that we downloaded. The data.yaml is here and has a little bit of information in it. And then the data sets, the test and train folders our data sets, and then this same name, right? It's the same name as here. It's the name of the the, um, the folder that we downloaded, and it has the test, the training, and the validation data, and it has the same YAML in there as well. So it just is a little tidier to set it up that way um, to know, to tell YOLO where to look for things. So I can do retrain equals false, and if I do that, what it's going to do is create the name for the model. So this tells it where to find that best.pt, which is, let's see, runs so this folder, this file right here, has all the information for that, for that model. If not, um, oh, so this is the, 
the file name for that and then the model is going to be YOLO and then it'll open that. If I don't tell it, if I tell it to retrain, so retrain equals true, then it's going to build a YOLO 8. This is M for medium. We could put S for small, N for nano. I think there might be a large version as well. So there's a little uh, letter sequence here that tells it which model to use one of the YOLO 8 models, and then we give it the usual type of information, uh, how many, so where our data is, how many epochs we're going to train for, the name, where to save everything, so that goes back here, and then whether we want to uh, allow it to overwrite the information that's there. So let's do, if we do re retrain equals false, you'll notice it takes almost zero time. To load the model, if we do retrain equals true, let's switch to that. When we run this, it's going to give us information about the size of the model, then a little bit of you know, information and checks, and then here it's iterating through the epochs of, of training. And what you'll notice after it outputs the structure of the model, um, it gives some information like the type of optimizer. So there's a lot of built-in like good methods. It uses an optimizer with a predetermined learning rate and momentum um, and a weight decay. And then it does its training. And when we look down here after 59 epochs, um, it stops running. It didn't do the full 200 that we gave it um, because it's doing this early stopping. So we have patience. This is the default setting patience equals 50. So if it goes 50 iterations and doesn't improve um, the uh, results, then it stops. And there's a lot of uh, results metrics that get output. And so we can take a look at the metrics from the training. And so we get plots of the training class loss, which we can see are continually going down. Um, we care more about maybe validation loss um, or some of the other MAP metrics um, or precision and recall. Um, and then here's our confusion matrix. And then we have the model in memory, so what I'm going to do is load one of these image chips that um, we created. And what I'd like to do, really, you'll notice the image chips in these images in the data, they're all JPEGs. Let's see, data sets. The ones we downloaded from. Um, RoboFlow, we look at the images. These are JPEGs. So it's a JPEG. Here's the image. And you'll notice the um, degradation of the image due to the image compression. So I'd really like to have the TIFFs in there and modify YOLO to, uh, to work off the TIFFs, which have the all, what do we have, like six or eight features rather than just the three that are put into the JPEG and then compressed, or the three that are put into the PNG and then compressed to make the JPEG. So this isn't um, running off all the information in the LiDAR data. So moving forward, that would be a future task to run off of not the JPEGs, but the TIFFs and modify YOLO 8 to take those in. But we can do a prediction. So here's a file name for an image. Here we load the image using Pill, Python image library. Here we get the array for the image. First, we're going to show the image array without a grid. Then in this step, we're going to do a prediction on that image. And then we're going to plot um, the predictions from our YOLO model on that image. So here's the image. And then here's the predictions from the YOLO model. Right now, I'm outputting bounding boxes. And it's in this plot BB boxes that's in my Yoda LiDAR tools. Um, and 
what we're really probably want to be um, outputting are the segmentation masks, masks for each of these, um, which would give us a little more information. And uh, so I want to also pull in one of the images from the validation folder. And so here are the images in the validation folder to test our model. I'm one of those images. And so I just picked one of the two images that are in here. And so let's see how the YOLO model does this. And so this confidence is the threshold on, uh, we need a threshold of at least 0.25 before we're going to um, label the, uh, the, the building detection. And so we're at 25% confidence or 25% probability. So here's our buildings and we can scroll down and see the labels on these buildings and they look, they look very good. So it looks like there's a few that are missed in between. Um, but I don't see anything that's labeled a building that's not a building. So we're missing a few, but uh, that's the status of our results. Well, thank you very much.